Hello everyone. Welcome back to my class. We will be learning how to paint some really loose watercolor florals and leaves in this class. These are the florals I started with when I learned painting with watercolors and I always love to go back to it because these are always beautiful and simple to paint. I'll be telling you all the art supplies we need for this painting. We will need watercolor paper watercolor round brushes two sizes some clean water in a jar some watercolors paper towel and a mixing palette now that we have all the art supplies we need for this class let's get started first we will simply begin by practicing some brush strokes for painting petals and when we are done practicing the strokes we will combine all the strokes to paint a rose with some fillers and four petal flowers and some leaves let's get started by practicing some of the brush strokes on a different watercolor paper i'll be using a medium size round brush for painting the strokes and this watercolor palette is wonderful for painting flowers it has nice and vibrant colors I will be showing you how to paint the strokes in different angles we will also learn how to paint some four petal flowers some leaves some buds and also fillers Let's start by mixing some of colors onto the palette. You can choose any colors you want since it is just a practice. I'm using pink. I'm starting off with my pointy tip of the brush. I'll start by dragging the brush and lifting it slowly to get that pointy edge. Let's practice one more time. Start with a pointy edge. Press the brush drag and make that curvy stroke let's try a different angle petal now take some paint start with the pointy edge drag and then lift up slowly one more time Press the brush, drag and lift up slowly to get that pointy edge. Some more petals. Repeat the process for different angle petals. You just need to start with the pointy edge, press, drag and lift up slowly and make some curvy petals. One more time. And yes, we are done practicing the petals. And let's get started. Let's combine all the 
petals and paint a rose. Start with the stipple center or you can also start with making some very tiny curves in the center and then we'll start adding the petals around these uh, curves start with a thin line press drag and lift up slowly next petal since we have space here, we'll start the petal here. You can turn your page and paint the petal. Press, drag and then lift slowly. Start painting the strokes around the petals and these curves will get larger and larger as we move around keep adding the petals I want to make the petals lighter and lighter as we move out so I'll add some more water and make the color lighter you can just stop painting the petals whenever you want to just make it look like a nice circle And I just want to add some dark paint in the center since I have a lot of spaces and all, we can also add some dark paint on the petals just a fine stroke on each petal Let's add one more rose uh, with a different color. So I'm choosing red. I'm starting off with the center of the rose, making some little curves, and then start painting the petals around the little curves. Start with a thin edge, a pointy edge, press, drag and lift slowly. Turn your paper. Keep adding the petals. I want to make a smaller rose this time, not as big as the first one. don't leave too much of spaces between the petals let them be closer I'm making the outer petals lighter you can just make the center a little more darker if you want now let's paint some fillers which are very easy i'm choosing yellow to paint these fillers i'm using my brush medium-sized brush to paint the fillers 
just make some little buds Let's paint some four petal flowers or maybe the buds first, yes. So I'm choosing some pink, pink buds for the pink rose. You can just draw the shape of the bud and then paint inside. Just add some little petals. One more. Let's add a red bud. like to add a green stem for the buds now let's paint some four petal flowers so I'm choosing violet start off painting a leaf kind of shape petal like this one I'm just pressing the brush and dragging it and lifting up start off with painting a leaf shape petal maybe we can add a very small one here Now let's add some leaves. Before adding the leaves, let's practice some strokes for painting leaves. I'm starting off with the pointy edge, pressing and lifting up slowly, like how we painted the petals, but not too curvy. Add one more stroke to connect the first stroke and make it look like a leaf. The space in the center looks like a vein. Let's practice one more time. some single line strokes to uh, paint them onto the bouquet and the spaces we have use the tip of the brush to make these thin strokes now let's get started painting the leaves and the stem so we'll use a big size brush to 
paint the leaves. We'll start with the lighter shade of green. Press the brush and lift slowly. Add one more stroke. So keep adding the leaves wherever you want. stem for all the flowers and then we will add some uh, leaves onto the stem with the tip of the brush make some fine lines for the stem use the tip of the brush keep your hand free and add some nice lines for the stem some more and now we'll add some leaves on the stem start with a thin line press drag slowly keep adding the leaves wherever you want add some small size leaves some big size leaves you can also add a darker shade leaves and leaves I'm using my uh, smaller brush and I'll use the tip of the brush to make those thin lines just add here and there between the leaves between the flowers
done painting the florals and I hope you all liked it. I really enjoyed a lot painting these florals and thanks for watching.